welcome back to another uh, list of fives thanks a lot for your uh, feedback your suggestions the debate on the choice of the five heroines i had chosen as india's all time beautiful actresses from bollywood today i'm going to pick out five very handsome looking or from my hunk heroes i am necessarily looking at heroes who had that physique so while they very nice looking endearing people they don't make it to the list because i am looking at men with the physique and also i start off with the regular mandatory caveat that this is a list which is objectively made with very subjective choices therefore i am sure everybody who watches and everybody hears about this list may strongly disagree with inclusions and exclusions call is yours these are my five these are not the absolute i'm not playing historian i'm just a chronicler and i'm saying these are the five i would put in the top five interestingly while i start off with the five i'm going to name one person who just did not make it to the list and the reason why he just did not make it to the list is if he had done a few more films i would have had him straight away in the list but unfortunately while the number of films he's acted is more than the total number of films that the man at number 5 is unfortunately in many of the films he comes in with a guest appearance or a cameo the man i'm referring to is the man who's had a recent box office hit but is waiting for that big time place in cinema aditya roy kapoor skip aditya roy kapoor and i will go down to after i move from the malang actor at number 5 is a boy lad born in march 1990 to Jackie Shroff and Aisha Dutt. Well, it looks like he's inherited good looks from his father and also suspect acting. Hero Panti, his debut film also won him the best debut on the award. He matched it with Baghi alongside Shraddha Kapoor. The flying jet flying away from the box office was his next offer. he had to duck with muna mikel with nidhi agarwal and he did bagi too when he came into his own disha patni was his partner in the film he gave karan johar a reality check with his student of the year two very badly done film but interestingly why he would wait in this list maybe a little not very sure position at 5 but nonetheless will make it to the list as because he really has an extremely well toned body and matches stands up to his own not in the acting department but in the looks and in his move agile good in war at position number 5 at place tiger shroff born in february 1981 again a second generation actor to our cinema but unlike the others he was not one who had the golden spoon or the silver spoon because his father acted in aman dad film and was a great actor i'm talking about pankaj kapoor and nilima's son shahid kapoor the hyder boy made a debut in a sleeper hit in 2003 i can't believe that he's already been in cinema for about 18 to 17 years amazing actor extremely underrated may not have the huge height that you'll expect of hunks but then he has a nice body he's had a mixed bag of films on the one hand we have jab we met kami ne urta punjab kabir singh haider viva on the other hand we have tap scripts 
लाइक मौसम राजकुमार फटापू से निकला हीरो एंड ही हैड डेस्परेट प्रेजेंस इन पद्मावत वेर ओवर द टॉप रणवीर विंस ओवर हिम दो आर रेगुलर इनवाइटी एंड प्रेजेंस इज सीन एट मेनी अवार्ड्स एंड इज नॉमिनेटेड I suspect he is yet to play his cards in the manner in which he can walk up the aisle and take the awards and go on. An extremely talented actor, a very good dancer, an amazing physique. At number four is Shahid Kapoor. The Greek god has arrived. what looks the dance move of his as he turns to the side and moves backwards with his arms up born in 1974 in january again a second generation actor and a person third generation when it comes to cinema if on the paternal side his grandfather was a brilliant music director who didn't get his own in our cinema His maternal grandfather was a big time filmmaker. Acted in small roles as a child actor in remember the cameo in Rajini Khan Sri Devi's Bhagwan Dada has a small role in da- Grandpa's Asha assistant director in Dad's Kudgars and Karan Johar. Rakhi may have announced mere Karan Arjun aayenge but Rakesh Roshan waited to say mera beta aayega till he said kaho na pyar hai kaho na pyar hai gave hindi cinema arguably one of its best looking actors who could act very well who could dance amazingly and had a physique for which you could just swoon then came up with koi mil gaya krish doom There's a very interesting scene in Jodha Akbar. One would talk about, uh, would wonder how a great dancer actor like Rupik would have an opportunity to dance or show his dancing skills. There's a scene where there's a dance going on in the film and he's the king. He just comes down, does one move and goes back and registers his stamp of being a brilliant dancer. and a body that's what kings are made of bang bang special 30 war he's right on top now my one of his favorite movies was hisa directed by khalid mohammad karan johar dad roshan he's acted with direction of kabir khan sanjay leela bansali sanjay gandhi who did gandhi who did boom two for him Karan Malhotra who did Agni Path with him. Don't forget, notwithstanding the fact that somebody as a perfectionist like Amir has done Doom, one still believes the best anti-hero in the Doom series has been Ritik Roshan. At position number three, chronologically in terms of age, but probably in terms of sheer looks, right up there, Ritik Roshan. Probably Indian cinema would name a very few actors who make their debut as villains and or negative characters, and then graduate into being heroes and graduate into being extremely successful heroes. For instance, we have had Rajini Kant in the South, but up there in Bollywood, I can think of Shatrughan Sinha, and above all, Hunt Number Two, the man who made his debut as a villain. in a film directed by Sunil Dutt in 1968 Man Kamit Lina Chandavarkar was making her debut in the film Som Dutt was the hero Som who done and over after the film we've never heard of him Vinod Khanna this former union minister in the ministry of culture and tourism mp from Gurdaspur from the BJP born 6th October 1946 died 27th April 
played the role of a villain in quite a few films. In fact, there came a time when you wanted a decoy, they said, go to Vinod Khanna, Mera Gaon, Mera Desh, Kacche, Dhage, for examples. As a villain, he did Mera Gaon, Mera Desh, An Milo Sajna, Satcha Juta, Pura Bor Paschen. The list is on. He was probably the only actor who almost unseated Amitabh Bachchan when Bachchan was right at the top. It was believed that Bachchan was not number one, but he was number one to five. If there was somebody who gave him the run for his money those days and came close to, didn't do it, make sure, came close to threatening that position, it was Vinod Khanna, the hero. He's acted in about 47 multi stars where he shares space with the likes of Dharmendra, Amitabh Bachchan, Jitendra, Rishi Kapoor, name them all the big, Shashi Kapoor, all the big stars of his time. He's done multi stars of plenty. He's acted from actresses like Bharti from the South to Minakshi Sheshadri, Dimple Kapadia, Shabana Azmi, Hema Malini, among all the actresses. Posthumously awarded the Dada, Dada Sahib Phalke Award. कोई होता जिसको अपना हम अपना कह लेते यारो पास नहीं तो दूर ही होता कोई अप, मेरा अपना the actor who turned a new chapter in Gulzar's मेरे अपने a good actor an actor who acted within the scope of what he could do didn't try too much didn't stretch too much but within his sphere a good actor an amazing physique and a very endearing person Vinod Khanna at number two. Mujh ko is raat ki tanhaai mein Aawaz na do Aawaz na do Aawaz na do Mujh ko is raat ki तन्हाई में आवाज न दो आवाज न दो आवाज न दो Who would believe that a melancholic melody from Mukesh would be on a hero who makes it to a list of hunks of Hindi cinema? The man who came bare chested at a time when that was only left for Dara Singh and Sheikh Mukhtar. An A grade actor, chest bone out, pool or patar. I'm talking about Padma Bibushan, the MP again of BJP from Bikaner, Dharmendra. Born on 18th December 1935. He has three Lifetime Achievements Awards, Z, Filmfare and IFA. Not a single Best Actor Award for somebody who was such a good actor. I was trying to make a list of the heroines with whom he acted in Hindi cinema. And I wonder if there's any heroine of her times, before or little, a little before or little after his times too, who's not acted with him. Nutan, Meena Kumari, Mala Sinha, Nanda, Asha, Vahida, Sharmila, Sadna, Saira, Zinataman, Parveen Babi, Jaya Badri, Jaya Prada, Sri Devi, Hema Malini, Reena Roy, Jay Lalita, Tanuja, Babita, Mumtaz, Raki, Shabana, Dimpen, Savitri. All have been heroines. Interestingly, Jay Lalita, the South Indian Chief Minister, has also been his heroine in a film. Yet, somewhere I get that while the box office recognized him, the critiques did not give him the kind of place he deserved. He's acted again in multiple multi stars sharing space with Rajesh Kanna, Amitabh Bachchan, Vinod Kanna, Jitender, Rishi Kapoor. From Ramesh Sippy to Manmohan Desai to Rishikesh Mukherjee to Asit Sen. Interestingly, do you know, Gulzar had once announced the intent of making Devdas, which Sharmila Tidore playing Chandramukhi and Hema Malini playing the role of Paru. It would have been a very interesting take. Unfortunately, the film was not to be made. 
Also, Saipur Anjpi had named the movie starring Dharmendra and Shabana Azmi called Bichu that also was not to be made. Two opportunities I think we missed out on. Apart from being a very sensitive actor, examples Satyakam, Agni or Insan, he's also been amazing actor when it came to comedy. Surely, Pratigya, Chupke Chupke are past examples of this amazing actor. Of an actor who acted so well or did not get the critics approval as he needed. What did he turn and say? Manga hua tum kuch de na sakhe Jo tum ne diya wo sehlenge Act number one, that absolutely brilliant looking, amazing, charmer, hunk, Dharmendra. Thank you for watching. Please come back to me with your comments. More than willing to debate with you on my choices and yours. Thank you very much. See you later with another collection on another topic with some more names, some more trivia on cinema. Bye.